Now, I do have one piece of errata from our 90s internet video from a week or two ago. Uh, that was a video where I showed what the internet looked like to me back in the 90s when I had to dial up to a shell account uh, before the World Wide Web became accessible to uh, us mere mortals out there. And one of the things that I talked about in that video was a text editor called Pico that I used on my shell account back then. And I mentioned how now it is called Nano and it looks the same. And I wrongly assumed uh, that Nano came from the Pico project. But in fact, that is not correct. Nano uh, came from somebody we all know here on the channel, Chris Allegretta, who's a gold level supporter here on the channel. And I completely just did not take the time uh, to look up who wrote Nano. And sure enough, Chris is the guy behind it. So I wanted to set the record straight that Nano is not part of Pico. Uh, Nano is a unique piece of software that was constructed so that uh, it could be legally distributed on uh, most of these very popular Linux installations that are out there, like Ubuntu, like our Raspberry Pi. Uh, even the Mac has Nano uh, built into it because Nano can be freely distributed amongst those distributions. And Chris is the guy behind it all. He got fed up having to reinstall Pico every time he wanted to use it. And he decided to write his own clone of it, which he did. And then it got uh, a GNU certification. And it is now included on, again, just about every Linux installation that's out there and every Mac that is out there as well. So I want to apologize to Chris for getting that wrong. I should have looked this up and spent a little bit more time on it. And uh, we'll set the record straight now. We'll pull this video out as a snippet and attach it uh, to that original video so we can make sure we get the record set straight on that. I apologize to Chris once again. And uh, when we make mistakes, here on the channel. We own up to them, and I really appreciate everybody out there who is keeping me uh, up to date on things that I screw up on so that I can correct the record when necessary. And uh, in the meantime, pull up Nano and start using it if you want a good, quick, and easy uh, terminal-based text editor. It is the best one out there, in my opinion. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold-level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.